importante page de notre histoire s'est écrite ici, dans ce fort, situé aux abords du lac Champlain, au Vermont. Construit par les Français, c'est aussi à cet endroit que le marquis de Montcalm a remporté l'une de ses plus importantes victoires, un an avant de périr sur les plaines d'Abraham. The word Ticonderoga, mm -hmm. that the English say, comes from the Indian word Ticonderogo, which meant uh, a place between the great waters, and, you know, also implying its importance in, in, in location. In terms of the Seven Years' War, I mean, there's a reason why in, in America they called it the French and Indian War. The, the French Indian allies were a very important part uh, of their army. During the Seven Years' War, in 1755, That, that's when we actually get this fort built. The French governor at the time, um, up, up in, in Quebec, he orders that a post be built here on what had been a trading post back in the 17th century, owned by a, a Monsieur uh, Carillon. So accordingly, the France builds a fort here, names it Fort Carillon. They start that in 1755, they finish the fort by 1756. The Marquis de Montcalm achieved a, a very great military victory. With only 4,000 uh, troops, he managed to stop an arm, a British army of about 16,000. And, and he, he did it by, by throwing up a, a whole log breastwork. He threw it up, he had the soldiers throw up nearly overnight and was able to defend, defend against just a, a massive onslaught against this war. Well, when people come here, uh, first they're really uh, immersed in, in the beauty of the site. Uh, we sit on a peninsula that is located on Lake Champlain and overlooks the green mountains of Vermont. Uh, so it's really surrounded in exquisite beauty. The Pell family actually has been involved with this particular landscape and the history of the fort since the 19th century, since 1820. And then in the early 20th century, uh, in 1908, uh, enough information was in place and, and the resources, the financial resources were in place to be able to do a restoration. We serve our mission through uh, preserving and enhancing our buildings, our landscapes, and our collections. We have a, a really stunning collection of, of weapons uh, from the 18th century, and as part of that is the largest 18th century artillery collection. This fort is the key to the continent, indeed. In Every, you know, any army that, that really controls this fort, it was thought really controlled the whole continent as a whole. It's just, just that important of a, of a crossroads.